Hey guys, welcome back to Develop Event Manager. In this video, we're gonna talk about how we can add an event from WordPress front end side. So let me first talk about how this scenario is helpful and uh, why we want to do that actually. So suppose you have a multi-role user functionalities um, website and you don't want your users to get access to the backend, but still will be able to um, add events via front end side. So when you install our WP Event Manager add-on, it will create few pages and one page out of them will be an host and event page. When via that page, users can add or submit an event from the front-end side. Then let's see what that page looks like or how it functions. So first of all, uh, as an admin, you need to um, add that post event page uh, into a menu or some sort of so users can navigate to it. Here we have that page over here. And here we have our standard event submission form. This is an exact replica of the backend form, but without the Gutenberg or block editor sections. So let's go ahead and fill out these details. Firstly, we have our event title. Then we have our event type our event category so here we have a toggle button for online event and if we select no uh, we have three fields such as venue name zip code and event location and this represents the physical location of the event venue uh, where it's gonna happen or where it's getting organized so people can find them and then we have the online event selector if we select to yes it's gonna hide those uh, three fields since it's not a physical event not happening anywhere in physical so uh, it's not gonna show the zip code location and venue name names so then we have our event banner then below that we have our description let's add a description here Then we have our registration email or URL. Then we have our video URL over here. If you want to post a uh, promo video or a trailer or a, uh, information video about your event, you can paste the link over here and it will show in the event details page. Below that we have our start date, our start time, our end date, our end time, and right below that we have our time zone let me find my time zone first there then we have our registration deadline and this is optional you don't have to choose it but if you want your registration to be limited um, you can do that over here and then we have our zoom meeting this is a useful drop down if you want to bind a zoom meeting with your event we previously showed that uh, how to do that and what changes it brings to the uh, website and what features it brings to the website as well so we talked about that in a previous video if we bind the event with a meeting and then what features or uh, changes it brings to the website so let's select this meeting here so down here we have our organizer so basic the difference between adding an event from back end or front end is from backend, if you want to add a meeting, you need to have an organizer. But uh, from frontend, that's not really necessary. So we can actually select organizer from here. And if we want to add one, we can always, of course go here and add one. But if we have an organizer already, we've been added that earlier. But let's not select organizer for this event. Let's hit preview. So here we have our event preview page where we can go back and edit the listing as well or we can submit it. Let's preview the event once. We have our uh, event banner, our event title, our description, our meeting information on here in the sidebar as well. So pretty much our standard event details page. Uh, we have our joining links and our date and time, location, type, category and share button. So let's go ahead and submit this listing. 
so it says even submitted successfully your listing will be visible once approved so that means this listing is now has to be approved by one of the user accounts in this website so this is for moderation purpose like if you don't really want your users to post an event with inappropriate or incorrect data so that's where you can actually moderate uh, events added via front end so for that you need to log in your log into your back end and approve or delete this listing or if you approve it it will get listed otherwise if you delete it it's gonna get purged so i have approved this event for myself at the back end and if we go to our event dashboard so here we see our event listed over here we can see our date time our title location and stuff and our v counts and we have our actions button as well we have our edit button our cancel button our column button and a delete button as well so this is our event dashboard where we can see our all event listings over here and make changes to them or like even add an event from here as well so this was a quick video how we can actually add a meeting from our front end side i hope you enjoyed it like if you liked it a sub to the channel would be more amazing and i'll catch you in the next one